Hi guys, so today we're going to try something a little different. I'm going to do a quick verbal book review for you. I say quick because Instagram is cutting me off at one minute, uh, but I doubt that I will manage to cover what I want to say in a minute. So if you want to hear the rest of it, please do check out the video on YouTube, which is where I will also be putting up the, the full video. Um, the book that we're talking about today is called The Family Across the Street, and it's by an Australian writer called Nicole Trope. I think I came across this book almost by accident. I like to read thrillers, um, but I am also very... I'm a little bit cynical about it because one of the disadvantages of being a writer is that whenever you're reading something, you very unless it's very gripping, you tend to think, hmm, I would have done this, or, you know... Um, uh, not so much for literary fiction, but definitely for um, for thrillers, I think, and and uh, particularly domestic suspense. So one of so I have often seen these books. It always says, you know, astonishing twist, amazing story, and sadly, I would say about sixty percent of the time, it's not an amazing twist. And I kind of had a general sense of what might happen, and uh, maybe not sixty percent of the time, I don't know all the answers, but I have some sense of what's coming. So um, I, yeah, so I'm always looking for books that take me by surprise. And this one actually did. Um, the general theme of this book is about a kind of affluent neighborhood in Sydney called Hogarth Close. And some new people move in, a couple called John and Catherine with their twin kids who are absolutely adorable. Neighbors are very excited and very welcoming. Um, and of course, now you're thinking the sinister bit is coming and you're kind of right. Um, but what then happens is that uh, one morning there is, this story is actually told over the course of one day and I found it very effectively done because it was, it was quite gripping and it's told from three points of view. One is uh, the person who is behind what goes wrong. The second is John and Catherine's neighbor Gladys who's an older woman um, who likes to keep an eye on what's going on in the neighborhood. And the third is a character called Logan, who is an ex-con, who has basically turned his life around and is very scared of having it derailed, uh, particularly since he's had bad news about his sister who was attacked. And so that's very much on his mind. And this morning, um, Gladys understands that there's been some huge fight at uh, John and Catherine's house. And um, so she goes over there to, to try and find out what's going on and if Catherine is okay. And Catherine is clearly not okay because she won't let her into the house. And so Gladys becomes very worried and she, she wants to ring the police, but the problem with her ringing the police is that she's in the habit of ringing the police for all kinds of reasons, so the police don't take her seriously. A classic kind of the boy who cried wolf. Um, and Logan goes to Catherine's house the same morning to deliver a, uh, a computer which she will not take delivery of. She refuses to sign, she refuses to let him in. Um, she basically turns him away at the doorstep. So he figures that something is wrong here, but he doesn't know what to do. He speaks to his wife, he speaks to his employer, and neither of them kind of share his view that, that something terrible is going on. Um, but Logan also is very worried because he can't go to the police because as an ex-criminal, he knows that there's very little that it will take for them to be suspicious of him. So the two people who actually feel that there might be something wrong in that house are the two people that nobody's going to listen to. And those are the, the kind of points of view that you get. And the third point of view is from within the house itself and from the person who is responsible for the crisis. And I have to say, I found the, the pacing excellent. Characters were believable. And the twist actually did, um, did take me by surprise. So I don't see Nicole Trope's books featured on my feed at all, in terms of, on, or rather on other people's feeds. Um, so she's someone I highly recommend. All the books are not equally good, but The Family Across the Street is definitely a book that I would recommend. If you like a good thriller, if you're interested in domestic suspense, try this one out. Thanks guys and have a great night.